Good morning. This is Dr. Rawi, the Chief of the Surgery and Oncology at the Zahra Oncology Center. We have weekly update you about the progression of our oncology and GI centers. Uh, we are in Al Zahra Oncology Center in the center of Dubai. We try to update you about our new progress of getting accreditations for all the other all the centers, including the thyroid and also including the GI center. The center of the GI, including uh, the foregut and the bariatric and the colorectal. As a surgical oncology, we trained in the United States for the all the colorectal, laparoscopic and open, in addition to the four gut surgery, including esophageal, gastric, and reflux. Today, joining us, uh, Dr. Muharram Moner, our specialist in the, in the four gut and also the bariatric service. Dr. Muharram. Hello, I'm Dr. Muharram. I'm trained in Turkey. Here, I want to talk about uh, our bariatric clinic in al which is established for, five, five, for more than five years, and as the uh, has been accredited by center, uh, at the Center of Excellence already. Uh, bariatric clinic uh, has so many members, which are doctors, nurses, dietitians, psychologists, and in this hospital in Al Zara, we have uh, all these facilities. Uh, we have doctors who are medical doctors first, uh, endocrinologists, cardiologists, pulmonologists. We have nurses who are experienced in surgeries and who are experienced to uh, take care of patients after the surgery. We have dietitians, again, they take care of the patient preoperatively, means before the operation and after the operation. And we have uh, psychologists who are helping uh, patients again before the surgery and after the surgery and we have surgeons. So surgery is not only the part of the uh, bariatric service. Surgery on, is only one part of the bariatric surgery, uh, bariatric clinic. And uh, there are types of surgery, surgeries in bariatric. Uh, these are surgical procedures and endoscopic procedures. Uh, we evaluate the patient first and according to the patient needs or uh, condition, I mean the BMI uh, and uh, comorbidities, uh, we decide where to go. Uh, so uh, bariatric service uh, is not, it shouldn't be uh, think about a uh, stop like as only the surgery. It's a complete service. So uh, there are evaluation. So my understanding that the bariatric service it's a multidisciplinary yeah. approach, yeah. including Absolutely. all these services. Absolutely. And the surgeon only is a small part of yeah. it, Absolutely. which is you handle. Yeah. What type of bariatric surgery you do? Uh, as I as I said before, uh, there are endoscopic procedures and uh, surgical procedures. Uh, endoscopic procedures are uh, balloons which help people to lose weight uh, only some percentage of the, their weight and uh, there, are, there is uh, endoscopic gastroplasty which is a, uh, another procedure uh, which is done by endoscopy patient doesn't need to stay uh, at the hospital and uh, again a certain amount of weight uh, they can do and there are surgical procedures. Uh, we do sleeve gastrectomy, uh, gastric bypass, mini bypass, or Ruan May bypass. And uh, but you do go complicated bariatric surgery? Uh, of course, of course. This is yeah. another part of bariatric surgery. Which is that advanced part. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, bariatric surgery is developing for the last 10 years. So, 10 years ago, we were concentrated on the initial procedures. Uh, which are sleeve gastrectomy, bypass, and band. Of course, after 10 years, in these 10 years, uh, we have patients who are uh, getting back of their, some of their weight. So, uh, or who have complications after the surgery. Uh, so, uh, redo surgeries are needed now. 
uh, which are this, uh, which is available for yeah, service. Of course, yeah, exactly. are, Dubai yeah, and all yeah, our satellite. Yeah, we are we are so experienced in uh, bariatric surgery, so we can we, we can do all these re redo procedures. Uh, we can handle all the complications uh, for these cases. For these cases, yeah. thank you. So for the rest part, I just will talk about one less than a few se few seconds about the reflux and the forgot surgery. Forgot surgery including the esophageal and the stomach in addition to the, whether it's a benign and malignant. We are trained to do these cases. I trained in the United States and in addition to the England with Professor Kusheri for the reflux, including big hiatus hernia, paraesophageal hernia, motility disorders. We have in Al-Zahra all the facilities for having manometry study, 24-hour pH, and in addition, upper endoscopies and the study variant study in addition to the nuclear medicine mortality of the progression of the of the of the bolus. Based on that, decision on and also on MDT, we have a weekly MDT for the bariatric and weekly MDT for the portal surgery, and we make decision about the patient. There is no single patient being operated in Al Zahra under the surgical department has to be taken by single person decision. So this gray zone of single person decision has been gone out from our dictionary in UAE and in Al Zahra. Complication can happen, but we are minimum with the expertise of our team and with the high standard of care in Al Zahra in Dubai. From that we conclude that Al Zahra is available for having all the portal surgery and also for also for the bariatric surgery. And based on that based on that and we can manage and handle all these cases. If we have a 24-hour hotline with uh, our manager, Dina, uh, 971-55-101016. Please, if you have any concerns, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.